Hey everybody and welcome to Comic Breakdown. If you are new to the channel, do me the favor, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the content that we have coming out. And today, we are going to be diving into King and in Black, Planet of the Symbiotes. Now this one is actually a lot of fun and you guys are going to recognize some really awesome characters in here that I know Venom fans are really going to be happy to see. At least I was. Now this story has two stories in it. The first one is titled Scream, and it follows Andy Benton. Now when it comes to Andy Benton, aka Scream, Andy Benton is marked with the hell mark, a, a, a demonic sigil in the shape of a pentagram, surrounded by a circle, and it's bestowed upon those who have the potential to become a hell lord, either through birthright or by being chosen by an existing hell lord. And so while having the power of the symbiotes, it also has the power of fire, which makes it one of the most powerful symbiotes out there, in my opinion at least. And the other story picks up in Ravencroft, Institute for the Criminally Insane. Now, if you guys haven't been keeping up with the King in Black line, go ahead and check out the playlist in my description at the top of this video. It'll get you completely caught up on everything King in Black related. And with that being said, let's dive into this issue. So this issue jumps us right into it. We're getting some dialogue from Andy in the background and how they see just nothing but darkness. The symbiote goo has literally taken over every aspect of this city, choking everything out, blocking out the sun. And this is where we see four symbiotes that many of you may recognize as Agony, Riot, Lasher, and Phage. And these four symbiotes are on the search for Dylan Brock. And as they're about to kill this one kid, realizing it's not Dylan Brock and that they can eat this child, this is when Scream arrives and starts taking on the four. But they soon all combined and become hybrid. And hybrid is just kicking butt. Takes a blast of heat directly from Andy, aka Scream. But hybrid's able to power through the blast gets the upper hand and smashes Scream down into a car. And this is where we see Hybrid literally eat Scream. And as Hybrid goes to walk away, we see light beaming out from the stomach and Scream literally exploding from the inside. And this is where Andy saves the little kid and goes to take the kid home. And as they're walking away, we see little strains of symbiote crawling into the sewer. So this won't be the last that we see of Hybrid in the Four Symbiotes. And that will be the end of this issue. Now, diving into Ravencroft, part two of this comic. Everybody is sitting outside, all the guards, trying to figure out what's going on. And this is where they see the symbiote dragons come flying in. And the guard heads down, down to the emissary. Unbeknown to everybody, he's part of what they call the Cult of Null. And they've waited for this moment. And this is where Null arrives at a gravesite, deep within a catacombs. And the guard kneels down and pays honor and tribute to the Null god of the symbiotes. And this is where Null is ready to perform a resurrection of an individual that many may know as Cortland Cassidy, who Noel says was once the, the New World's first serial killer. But he was so much more. He was the first one to spread fear and darkness in the name of Noel. And so for his sacrifice, for his death, he's going to give him something. He's going to have him arise as Plague. And as Plague arises from his gravestone, he eats the guards that are relatively close. And this is where he's met by John Jameson. But what John doesn't realize is that his power is connected to Knowles. And Plague knows that he betrayed the Knoll god of the symbiotes. And that's where he gets a punch in the back of the head from Misty and her fantastic metal arm. And then Plague looks up and he's completely surrounded by guards. And though he would love to sit here and kill all of these guys, he's got better things to do. He has to go kill the one they call Brock. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think. This was a two-parter. There was a lot of freaking fun. You know, we've... I think we've all been waiting for these symbiotes to show up. You know, it's just a matter of time. You're going to introduce... You know, Noel, God of the Symbiotes, you would only imagine that, you know, the best lieutenants would be there by his side. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're all hunting down Dylan Brock. Because whatever is happening, Noel fears it. But really what I like most about this 
as the King in Black, we've slowly been building up stories where we have individuals that are strong enough to take on Null individually. So if we can actually get this to where when it comes to the end, all of them get together. They all find one another in some way, shape, or form, and use their abilities combined to be able to take on Null himself. I would really like to see Star-Lord dropping in here, have Scream helping out, you know, have all these players that they've been messing with, have them come in here and have them just mess Null up. Because if we can have a coordinated attack, they would easily be able to wipe out Null from all of this. Especially if they have the sword from the, the Black Knight and all of that nature. Which they should have if the Guardians of the Galaxy kept it over the years. Which we'll find out more as we dive into Guardian of the Galaxy. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button. Go check out Comic Breakdown and More Podcasts where we cover all the weekly pools that we cover here on this channel as well as all the cinema you can get anything that is related to comic book news comic book movies we got you covered we drop an episode every friday you can check us out on itunes and spotify and until the next video